there, and welcome to Neophyte.tv, the technology show for the not so geeky. My name is Tiffany Young. And I'm Ben Friedman, and today on the show, we're looking at the Plus Tech Optic Book 4600 mm. scanner, which is a scanner with a purpose. Oh. This is a scanner that knows why it was put here on the planet. Okay. A scanner with a reason, a right. reason for being, and that is scanning books. It doesn't have an automatic sheet feeder, so it's not great if you want to put 50 sheets in it. Mm -hmm. It does do photographs and that kind of stuff, but that's not re what it's really for. It's really for... <laughs> what are these, these things? <laughs> okay, let me tell you what those are. And i got to tell you, Plus Tech, this is one thing that bugged me. I took this out of the packaging, and Plus Tech uses these adhesive dots. Can you see them? There's like one here, and there's another couple here. These adhesive dots to stick on the protective material when right. it ships. But I can't get these dots off. Gugon. Excuse me? Gugon. Gugon. Are we speaking Klingon today? <laughs> Gugon. What, what is Gugon? It's, it is the best stuff I found for getting, st you know, stickers off of. Oh, it gets stuff. Uh, adhesive yeah. stuff. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is, this is a, a you know a high end product. You'd think they would use higher end dots or something that you know could actually come off. I can't get these things off. Well, so. it's for an educational facility, so. Yes, perfect for that. Yep. Yes. Everybody's on the payroll. They have time to actually put it on, and they get paid for it. Now, it what off. makes this great at scanning books? A couple of things. Number one is, when if I open this up, you'll notice that the glass goes pretty much all the way to the front edge. Do you see that? So the, so that is a nice feature. It is. Seriously. Have you ever scanned a book, and when you scan it, you get that dark like shadow right in the spine of the, the book? The toner waster part. The toner waster part. In fact, speaking of wasting toner... This is a very environmental device because mm -hmm. if in the past you photocopied books, here you can scan the book to a computer, put it right. on a PDF key or put, uh -huh. it on, you know, put it on a CD-ROM, you're not wasting paper. You still have to scan every single page, though. Well, only the pages you want. Oh, well. So let, let's get, do an yes, example of course. here. <laughs> the other great thing about this toner is, um, it, uh, the other great thing about this scanner is it's very, very fast. Oh. So let's see just how fast it is. Okay. Uh... Good book, The Professors by David Horowitz. Great if you're a right-wing nut job like me. And I'm going to pick a page here. And so you can see here, it sits over the edge here, but the glass goes all the way to the edge, so it's not. Right. It's going to fit very nicely. Butt it up against the book. If you would hit the scan button, oh. please. Thank you, Vanna. There you go. You're welcome, Alex. Done. Wow. And by the wow. way, Vanna White worked with Pat Sajak, not Alex <laughs> Trebek. <laughs> Oh, like thank you very much you for that. On that. Okay. So then you take this. And it's you all, the, all the time I have for TV these days. Go to the uh, <laughs> go to the next page you want to scan, which is this one. And ready, press ready, the button ready? again. And again, there you go. Three and a half seconds per page. That's like an MRI That's machine. Done. Yeah. <laughs> and you can scan photographs and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Isn't it you know, like on there? every kid in the world either scan their faces, their hands, their toes, or yeah, something? Yeah, let's give it a try. Come on. <laughs> Come on, let's scan your face. I Put think your face on there. it radiates you. No, 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 go ahead. Put it on there. Okay, just because I want to see what it looks like. Okay. All right, go ahead. Can you reach the button? <laughs> oh, my God, I'm blinded. Where else could I abuse another human being like this? Okay. Is, do I get paid extra for this? You can get up now. <laughs> oh, I am blinded. <laughs> oh, my so, goodness. You got a tan on one side of your face now. This, this would be like $40 at a doctor's office. That's right. I think it's going to give you a nice, healthy glow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I'm, I think Plus Tech is going to wonder what's on their glass. Like, a <laughs> little, little makeup. That's a little, ma little Maybelline there. Maybe it's, maybe it's David Horowitz. That's okay. They maybe can, it's Maybelline. They can wash that off with the dots. <laughs> That's right. So uh, that is the Plus Tech Optic Book 4600. Very, very fast scanner with, with a purpose. How much? It's not cheap. It's $6.99. Whoa. But if you're like a, like a, an office, library, a school, any place where you need to scan a lot of books. Or you have money from the government subsidized. Yeah, that would work too. <laughs> uh, this is a great a great tool for scanning books really quickly. That's its purpose. Yeah, I would say if you if it's something that you're going to use over and over and over again, you're obviously going to get your money's worth eventually. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And we have another review coming up right after this. Mm -hmm. So please stay tuned. What do you do when you get frustrated by your computer? Whether you have a simple question or it's a major computer crisis, write down the number on your screen because I can help. I'm Luke Ford, founder and CEO of My Computer Works. If you have a small business or a home computer, My Computer Works is your personal computer help desk. Whether it's a big problem or a simple question about your computer, simply pick up the phone, call our friendly American-based technicians, and we'll connect directly to your computer and fix the problem for you. It's immediate, safe and secure and doesn't require a stranger coming into your home and will never try to sell you something you don't need. There's no problem or question too small. We can help. 
My Computer Works is now serving thousands of happy customers all across our great country. It's fabulous, and I can call as many times as I want. If my computer starts acting up, I call. It's the best money I've ever spent in my life. For a small activation fee and only $19.95 a month, you can call us when you need us. Now My Computer Works does yours. And we're back, and in the second spotlight section today, a couple of products from our good friends at Moshi. Ah, Moshi. Yeah, I don't know if you remember, Moshi, we reviewed a couple of, back in one of our bag episodes, mm -hmm. we reviewed the Moshi bag. They are an amazingly stylish mm -hmm. company. They, uh, not the cheapest stuff, but everything they do has a lot of style. And today's products are no exception. So here's the first thing. Let's see if you can figure out what that is. A solar panel. No. A... Uh... A fan? No. A well, it bird? does have a fan in it, so that's, that's almost. This is uh, by Moshi. It's called the Zephyr, and this is a uh, MacBook or MacBook Air cooler. Uh -huh. Oh. Now, MacBooks get quite warm. Sure. I don't know if you've noticed yours, but uh -huh. mine, if I use it on my lap for a long time, mm -hmm. gets quite hot. So what this does is, and let me see if I can get a good shot of it. It has a, a thermal conducting pad on here. Feel that. That's designed oh, to like cool. transfer heat. Uh -huh. And then this opens up like so. Neat. Okay. There's a little USB plug out here that comes outside like this. And then you take your MacBook, or MacBook Air in this case, and you oh, insert nice. into it, <clears throat> into the uh, USB port down here. Let me do this. I love this MacBook Air. And there's a little fan in here, and it sits on it just like that. Mm -hmm. And now we'll cool, and not only does it elevate this to a nice Right. angle, but it will now keep your Mac that much cooler. Nice. Now, a couple of really nice features. If you take a look at this USB port, the jack mm -hmm. has a, mm -hmm. another USB jack on the back. So this plugs in here to... Why does this plug in again? Well, it has, there's a fan, so it needs okay. to get power for the fan. Oh, so, it doesn't okay. take any batteries okay. or anything like Thank that. You. But it has, a, it has a USB port right on it. Let me see if I can hold this up. So that even after you plug it in, you can still plug your mouse in okay, so or, or something else. Battery free. <coughs> battery free. Great. Which means it will drain the battery of your computer a little faster because right. it has to power its little fan. So, so your little wireless mouse adapter goes there, whatever. Yeah, or whatever. If you want to plug in your iPod, you can mm -hmm. plug in your iPod right oh, there. Oh, great. Right? Yeah. So it, the, the MacBook Air only has one USB port. Mm -hmm. So really important to have that, that pass through. Boy. Yeah. So what do you think of that? It's a cute little product and it's great for travel because when you're done with it. It's teeny tiny. Yeah. You can take this. This goes right back in here. And you can do this cool, like, uh, military gun sounding <laughs> thing. Oh. You think this could be confiscated at the airport? <laughs> what do you think? Because you know, it looks too, like, military -esque? It does look, it does look kind of like that. But no, mm. I like it, though. Oh, I like it, too. You know? My only complaint. Uh, there's one complaint, and, and by this the way... It's really well made, by the way. It is. It's Very like a solid nice. chunk of metal. Yeah. And that's good, because that means, you know, it's going to actually uh, reduce the, uh, you know, reduce the heat. It's got these veins on it. Right. It's a conductor. Yeah. Good conductor, very good. 75 bucks, it's not the cheapest one you'll, you'll find. I mean, you can find coolers for 20, 30 bucks. No, this is nice. I would, is nice. I would go with this for 75. I have one problem with it, and it's a problem you can fix, but it would be nice if they fixed it. The back is very smooth, mm -hmm. and I find if I'm working oh, on any kind of an angle, as I'm typing, I'm slowly doing this, and uh -huh. it's, it's running away from me. Uh -huh. So I, I would ask Moshi, put two rubber dots or a couple of rubber dots on it, mm -hmm. you know, just so it doesn't slide. Right. But, but I think it's thing. supposed to be used in your lap, though, really. Oh, but, you know, airplane trays, all the rest airplane of Airplane yeah. trays, anywhere mm -hmm. like that where you want to use it. So there's the fan right. that blows oh, the air through, sucks it up there. And this, so this conducts the heat in, from the Mac into itself. Mm -hmm. And then the fan circulates the air through these veins. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. Great product, Moshi. That's Moshi's. That's yeah. product number one. We have two products from Moshi today. Oh. And the other product is the Moshi Celesta. And I love this one. This is the new Moshi Ooh, Celesta keyboard. Oh, that's beautiful. Works. Uh, now, this one's designed for the Mac, but it, you know, it'll work on a Mac or a PC. Mm -hmm. and, oh, that is uh, nice. Yeah, it is. And I am going to plug it in here so you can see what it looks like plugged in. That's really nice. Yeah. So this is the Moshi Celesta keyboard. And it, you'll notice it's a very sort of flat keyboard. Try typing on that. It's sort of laptop-like. It's kind of a, it a is. nice feel. It really, yeah, it does. I, this is a great it keyboard. It is a beautiful keyboard. It lights up. I don't know, can you see this? It's yeah. lit up blue there. Oh. And it just has a really, really solid feel. Now, again, beautiful design. Mm -hmm. um, you'll, you can put it at two different angles. So here's one angle. But if you prefer to have a, a, a less of an angle, you can flip this feet up, and now it's a little less of an angle. This so is whatever great. is more comfortable yeah. for you. Very pretty. 
I love their design. They really do a good job with their designs. Yeah, and what I like about this is it has all the extra keys that are like missing off Mm -hmm. of your laptop. I use this all the time. It has the numeric keypad, but it still has the Mac design keys like the command key and Mm -hmm. such. You know, no Windows key, it has a command key. A little pricey, 99 bucks. Now, oh, I, I was expecting more than that. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Oh, well, there you go. Not pricey enough. Well, Should no, be no. More than 99, 99 bucks. is good. I was expecting 150 range. Yeah, no, yeah. no, 99 bucks, which is uh, more than Apple, Apple's keyboard that you can buy that, you know, that comes with the iMacs. That's only, I think, about 50 or 60 bucks. Right. Um, but does not have this style. Right. And even though the Mac keyboard is very nice, also, I think these keys are... I, mean, just, a, I use these just, all the time, so yeah. that's for me is a must. And it's just really comfortable to type on. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's, it's got that comfort. So those are Slim. two really high stylish mm-hmm. products from Moshi. That's the Moshi uh, Zephyr Cooler, which I like except for the rubber dots, <laughs> and the Moshi Celeste, Celesta Keyboard. Gorgeous. Yeah. That's all the time we have for this week. But let us know what you think. Is that too expensive? Would you, you pay for that kind of style? What's you your favorite Moshi product? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let us know. www.neo-fight.tv. Tell us what you think. And uh, that's all the time. Well, hopefully we'll see you next week. See you next week. And if you have an extra 30 seconds, take a look at this. Hey, I'm Andy Walker. Have you just bought a new computer with Windows Vista on it? Or maybe you've got an old XP computer that you upgraded. Well, we've just created an amazing new DVD. It'll teach you everything you need to know about the new operating system from Microsoft. It's called Getting Started with Windows Vista. In this DVD, there are three sections. One is out of the box. What do you need to do as soon as you start up Vista? Number two is Vista Essentials, things you need to know every day to make your computer experience amazing. Antivirus, security, all kinds of new features that Vista offers. And finally, geek tips and tricks, things you need to know that nobody else will have told you to make you a Vista guru. For more information, check out our website at gettingstartedvideo.com.